to monitor the normal activity of the heart, a test called an electrocardiogram, ECG, is performed. Now, let's take a look at a cross-sectional view of the heart. Within the heart, a cardiac impulse travels through its chambers, causing the heart muscles to contract and relax rhythmically. As this impulse moves, it generates electrical currents that spread throughout the heart. These electrical currents can be detected, amplified, and displayed as waves. This recording is known as an electrocardiogram, or ECG. To carry out this recording, a device called an electrocardiograph is used. It comes with electrodes, also called leads, that are attached to specific points on the chest using rubber suction cups and to the arms and legs using straps. A typical ECG consists of a P wave, a QRS complex, and a T wave. The P wave is a small upward deflection that shows the beginning of atrial depolarization, triggered by the sinoatrial, SA node. The Q wave is a small downward deflection that occurs as the electrical impulse travels through the bundle of his and its branches. The R wave is a large upward spike, representing the depolarization of the ventricular muscles. The S wave follows and completes the QRS complex, representing the final depolarization of the ventricles. The T wave is a moderate upward wave that shows the repolarization or recovery phase of the ventricles.